reporting for high school sports on demand, powered by Max Preps, I'm Lauren Brown. Hightower High School Lady Canes battled the Morton Ranch High School Lady Mavericks in the Fort Bend ISD Girls Basketball Tournament. The only thing that concerns me is the way that my team plays, that's it. If we do what we're supposed to do, we'll take care of business. The Lady Canes strike first, driving the ball down the court. Unique Finley with the layup to make it 2-0 Lady Canes. Next possession, the Lady Mavericks can't hang on to the ball, and the Lady Canes' unique Finley recovers it and throws it to Adriana Wooten, who sinks the bucket for the Lady Canes, 4-0 Hightower High School on top. Later in the first quarter, the Lady Canes don't let up on the Lady Mavericks. Darian Washington passes to unique Finley, who knocks in a three from downtown, 7-0 Lady Canes. The Lady Mavericks have the ball, but Treasure Mouton comes up with the steal. She passes it to Adriana Wooten, who drops it in for another two for the Lady Canes. Still in the first quarter, the Lady Canes show they came to play in this tournament. The team manages to fight off the Lady Mavericks' defense in this possession, and it more than pays off. Darian Washington hits the ball from the top of the key for two more on the scoreboard. 14-0 Lady Canes. Off the Lady Mavericks miss, Lady Canes' Alex Brown rebounds the ball and goes coast to coast, passing it off to Darian Washington, who nails the layup to extend the Lady Canes' lead. Darian Washington continues to roll on the court. She drives the ball inside the paint to score two more for the Lady Canes, 18-0. In the second quarter, the Lady Mavericks are still looking to get on the board, but turn the ball over. Lanicia Mitchell recovers it and takes the ball the other way. She passes it off to Madison Glass, who takes it in for the Lady Canes score, 20-0 Lady Canes. Later in the quarter, Madison Glass recovers the Lady Mavericks miss, moving coast to coast and passing it off to Reyna Amons, who sinks another bucket for the Lady Canes, 22-0 Lady Canes. Off the rebound, Adriana Wooten takes the ball the other way and passes it off to Lenicia Mitchell, who knocks in a layup for the Lady Canes. In the third quarter, the Lady Mavericks with possession, but the Lady Canes' Alex Brown comes up with a steal and takes the ball to the house to make it 33-1 Lady Canes. Later in the third, the Lady Canes with another steal. Raina Amons takes the ball the other way and sinks another bucket for the Lady Canes. Still in the third, the Lady Mavericks with possession, but they turn the ball over. The Lady Canes' Raina Amons takes advantage. She bounces it off to Alex Brown, who drops it in for two. Later in the third, the Lady Canes don't let up on the Lady Mavericks. Dana Harper drains the three to give the Lady Canes a 40-point advantage in the game. In the fourth, the Lady Canes continued to dominate the Lady Mavericks. Hightower High School would roll to a 52-10 victory over Morton Ranch High School. I think until we decide to prepare ourselves for practice that uh, we're not anywhere close to preparing for the season. Uh, we got, uh, we had four kids out, so of course we didn't have any depth. But, uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna be here tomorrow, and we're gonna put the ball up, and we're gonna keep getting after it. Reporting for high school sports on demand, powered by Max Preps. I'm Lauren Brown.